Look. He's crabbing there, look. Alright, get him out for you. Get out. Look, we're welcoming back from crabbing. It's like we left them forever. We've, like we've never, like we've never, we, we haven't seen them in a year, but it's only been a couple hours. They're so happy to see us. What I can tell you is very important. We just went to get crabs and we're in salt water. Okay, so when you get back, the first thing you need to do, you need to make sure you flush this boy out with some fresh water and get some of that salt water out of there. So I'm going to hook her up and I'm going to do that. I think I might do it with the rabbit ears and turn her on for a little bit and let her run real good. Um, I got them up here. That's what we're gonna wanna do. <laughs> There's my dog, my St. Bernard. She's so happy to see us. She's so happy to see us. All right, let me hook this up. So this thing here on me, you can hook your water hose here and just run. Don't run the motor if you're just doing this. Whatever you do, don't do that. You'll mess your motor up, okay? But I'm gonna do it this time. I'm actually gonna turn the water on. I'm gonna put the rabbit ears on. I got her hooked up. I'm gonna get the water running. But usually when I come back, I'm in salt, I'll go ahead and I'll hook this up. I'll let it run for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, not, not the motor, just let the water run through it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and hook her up. Knock all that stuff down. Oh, I know it seems like a little. for about 10 minutes make sure you wash all that salt out of there get it run real good um, like I said but again you can just run it through here the same way but we'll let it run all right all right so what I normally do is I put apple cider vinegar bring it over here. Bring it here this is kind of got a deep V in it now you don't want too much in here you don't want it to put too much at the bottom you just want it to steam I got water here but I have, look at that, National Better Premium. It's called Day Beer, something new. It's actually not bad. Let's try. Not bad. So I'm going to throw this whole beer in there. I'm going to put a little bit more in here, a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water. A little water. See, I think that'd be plenty. You probably want to put that much in there, depending. Um, this pot's been really good. Bought this pot online on Facebook for 50 bucks. Let me start this up first. As soon as it gets going, we're going to steam it. Turn the fire down. We'll keep it up real high. Lid. We'll bring that up. We'll bring that up and we'll stick our whopping, I think, 13 or 14 crabs in there today. Here's a girl. She's getting ready to get shaved, get all this hair off of her during the summertime. Some people say shave her, some people say don't. We shaved her last year. A little bit more than I wanted to, but she turned back out. She was still out come summertime, I mean wintertime, 20 degrees out, 15 mile, 20 mile an hour winds. 15 to 20 mile an hour winds, and she was loving life.
Boom! Boom! Look, Daddy, slow. Come here. Come on. Scared, Remy? Were you a little scared, honey? Huh? No, actually. No. I guess the first time you feel a little bit of pressure. Yeah. Because them things, you know, they ain't gonna jump. Oh, no, we wanted to have about 12. That little guy, I want that big monster. Is that it? That's it. I think we only have like 13 or 14 crabs. Alright, I, I can watch her. Probably. Whoop. Probably take about 20, 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. Probably won't take long. Usually a bushel will take a half an hour, 25 minutes to 40 minutes, depending how big they are, how stuffed they are. And uh, the wife, she's just chasing the chasing the St. Bernard. <laughs> All right, that's just about it. Try not to let the water get up too hot. You don't want to boil them. Um, we're steaming them, so. Keep it enough that you don't run out of it. You know it is hot. I can probably turn this down a little bit. Turn this down a little bit. All right. All right. So what you're looking for? Is it off this way? No, you hear it on. There you go. It's off now. The um, you see how the shells are nice and red? That's what you're looking for. Nice red shells. All right. Yeah, that's a nice one there. Heavy. Not many today. We we usually get close to a half a bushel every time we go out. We gotta start saving crab meat for next year. We gotta put crab meat up. We like having our crab meat through the winter time, making soups and. Light. Light. Oh no, he's got it. Crab balls for the holidays. Now a lot of people, what you can do, we kind of just throw them in there. And once you get them in there, if you notice there's a lot of claws, they'll shed their claws. If you want them to keep the claws on there, you can actually set them on ice. Now, you don't want to put them in cold water because they'll die. But if you take, um, you can actually take ice in a bag and then, or, or, or ice and take the ice on the bottom, put a towel over top of them, go ahead and stick your crabs on there, and then it'll kind of make them dormant. And then when you steam them, all of them will keep their, their claws on. You can do that. That's a nice one too. So we got some nice crabs. I can't say we uh, we didn't kill them. They're a little bit more down south. A buddy, buddy of mine, a buddy of mine told me where they're catching them, and we might make take a tiny trip down there in maybe two weeks. But as long as the weather stays warm, um, we didn't see any jellyfish. Um, usually, what kind of helps us out is we, we'll see um, jellyfish up there where the water gets real salty. When the the water stays, the, the water stays, um, get that little bug out of there. When the water stays, uh, what, you want to fight me? Come on, bitch. Come on, come on, come on. Um, <laughs> he's just, uh, when the water gets salty, you know, they'll start coming up. But last year we had such an issue with so much rain. Um, it wasn't until really, really late in the year that we got any crabs and but. We caught a lot of big crabs last year. Um, they're saying that the crab population is perfect, plentiful. Um, they just have not moved up where we went today. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll call it a day. Um, it's like 90 degrees out, pretty hot. Chubby guys like me, chubby guys like me don't like the heat. We like the air conditioning. <laughs> All right, well, we've already kind of started eating. We got this big guy look, look at him big guy we go so i'm gonna show you see if i can even show you how i pick my crabs just sit there and eat we're just gonna eat them what i normally do is i'll take all the legs off i'm gonna do two ways i'm gonna do it always i've been trying to do it the professional way i watch them on tv i take all the claws off i'll leave them on the side for just a little bit later there's an apron going here I'll yank that off 
And then I'll put the point on here, grab the lid, grab the shell, and I'll take the shell off. Put that in there. Mustard in there, nice and clean and white. I get all the devil lungs. I call it a devil. And what I'll do is I'll punch them in metal like that. All that meat. Yellow mustard, good. Now, what I'll do here, this is just what I do, is I'll take the center here, I'll scrunch it in there, and then I'll, I'll almost pull it together out like that. This is the easy way. And then you see they'll have all these little grooves in here. And you just start picking the meat. And everybody goes, oh my God, there ain't that much meat. That's too much picking. Well... That, that's true, but the whole reason, especially here in Maryland, it's all about hanging around, drinking a beer, drinking a beer, and eating, and eating with friends, everybody's talking, having a good time, and as you're picking, you know, it's not a job, it's supposed to be fun, it's the whole thing. You know, maybe you work a little bit for the meat. But it's all about the love. <laughs> it's all about the love. All right, I'll come back, and I'll show you the other way I can I can do it because the other way I like uh, picking them. So a claw. What I like to do is you take the claw and you take a knife. A lot of people smash it. Whitey Schmidt, crack it. Don't smash it. So hopefully you got that in there. Alright, I take it in and I'll tap it into where I get just in there, just a little bit. Once you get in a little bit, you kind of twist your knife and it kind of cracks your shell. And then you kind of can get your meat out of there. Easy as that. I just try to put it in just a little bit. Give it a little twist, and then it kind of opens up. Sometimes it all comes out pretty, but not perfect. All right, I've been practicing, but I'm not that good at it. But I'm gonna try to use my knife and show you how some of the Crabbers. Now I still take the legs off. I'll still take the legs off first. Whoa, meat! Get rid of that front you. And then I'll separate it off. Now. So with the knife, they'll clean in right in here. This one's actually not that full. All right. Then what they'll do, they'll take this end right here off. And then they kind of go right, right in there. Put it off. Now right in here. Right there, that is your lump. That's your lump crab meat. You're like, oh my God, what's that stuff? Ooh, why didn't he wash it off? Cause that's the good stuff. And then you got all these little grooves and they'll take their knives and they kind of just like feed the little grooves in here. See, I'm not a prof I definitely don't know what the hell I'm doing. You can go on YouTube, there's actually professional people, you know, you go how to clean up blue crab and they'll take you to some really crazy, but that's really the gist of it. Really gist of it. And then you get all your meat. I mean, that's all, you know, it looks like a lot of meat to me. And that's just one side of the crab. So 
So you take it and you just get the legs off like that. Go almost to about right here and go around it. This top part comes off. And then there's your lump. There's your lump in that back. Back lump meat. <coughs> So I'll do this when we're just picking meat and we're putting it up. I might do it this way. That's it. That's just one side of it. And then you got all this meat right here. Watch the shells. These are actually pretty full, pretty nice. Like I said, we got some nice crabs. Well, we had a really good time today. We enjoyed, the weather was actually really nice. It got a little windy towards the end, um, but I'm gonna try to see if I can get out and uh, show you a couple other ways to go crabbing where you don't really need a boat. Um, you can go from piers, um, take your traps out there. You can actually just use hand lines. You just take a bunch of string, tie on a chicken neck to it, hang it over the line, and then you just wait for it to kind of move. Um, I'm going to try this one setup. I'm going to try to find a spot and I'm going to set up kind of a, a mini trout line. Um, uh, we're going to set up in the shallows where we actually just put on some shoes and put your bathing suit on. And uh, we'll, we're going to go out and you're going to want to set like a pole up on one side and you're going to set a little pole up on the other side and run a long string down it. And then you're just going to have little strings coming off of a chicken neck. And then you just sit there, you wash your line, you, you watch it move, you bring your net with you, pull it up, catch some crabs, that's fun with the kids. Um, they like that stuff, they're able to get in the water and everything. All right, so hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you stick around, why don't you subscribe? Hit comment, comment and let me know what you thought about it and make sure you hit that notification uh, bell, that way every time I put a video up, you guys get to see it, okay? So you have a nice day. I'll see you later. Get outside, Maryland. Thank mm -hmm. you.